The one. Aren't we all just looking for that one that will complete us, that is the ultimate person that we should be with for the rest of our lives, for our soulmate, for that person that we are meant to be with. And what if all of that was just a really big program that actually isn't even true, but you've been taught it by people that believe it as well, and so it's become so ingrained in you that you just find yourself in this space of defining your entire life, your entire happiness around this old, outmoded, archaic belief that first of all, that there's one person and only one person that can be for you. And secondly, that you actually even need to be with another person. Pay attention to the words I'm using, need to be with another person for you to be valuable, for you to be considered lovable, for you to be noticed as wanted, as desired, as worthy, dare I say, the words worthy. In actual essence, it's more of a societal construct that has kept so many people feeling these negative emotions and running these limiting beliefs that actually feed into dysfunctional patterns in every area of their lives. And then they either get completely out of balance where only part of their life works and another part doesn't, or none of their life works because they're chasing after something that isn't even true. It's just a program that has been running through generations and generations and maybe hundreds of years of that status quo fitting into the mold and being like everybody else to uphold some kind of a belief system for what we're not even sure, right? But we just do it. I remember this story about <clears throat> this young woman who had her very first home and she was preparing dinner She'd invited over her family and, and her new husband's family and everyone was gathered around in the kitchen. All the women were gathered around in the kitchen, classic. And the men were, you know, I don't know, sitting out on the porch, smoking a cigar or something. And the young woman was prepping this roast for dinner. And she took the roast out of the fridge and she was getting it ready to put it into the pan. And she got out a knife and she sliced the ends off the roast. And her mother's like, what are you doing? It's a, that's perfectly good meat that you paid for. Why are you cutting the ends off the roast? And the young woman said to her, I don't know. It's something that you always did. I watched you do it ever since I was a, a little girl. And the mother looked at her grandmother and said, well, it's cause I, learned it from your grandmother. That's what she always did. And the grandmother's like, I only did that because the roast wouldn't fit into the pan. So now we have generations of women in a family that are needlessly going through this process of cutting the ends off of a roast and they don't even know why. And so I'm curious where you do that in your life and where you do that in your business, where you do that in your thinking, where you do that in how you run your health, how you run your wealth, how you look at relationships. Because you know, really, it's not about finding the one. You are the one. You are the one. You are the one. When you come together with you and you come into alignment with you, then you no longer, well, first of all, you no longer 
look outside of yourself for some kind of propping up. You're not looking to have a, a conditional love that when the love is working, when basically when the conditions are being met, you know, when they're paying attention to you or showering you with affection or saying the right words or buying you the right stuff, then you're in love. But as soon as they're not saying those words or behaving in a certain way or buying you the stuff, then, you know, the relationship is going south. And this happens so much in couples. And if you can just realize that it's not just in romantic relationships this happens, this happens in business partnerships all the time. You know, as a business coach, I see this every single day when I'm working with my, my clients. As soon as someone in the organization doesn't behave or show up the way that everyone thinks that they should behave and show up, then they think that there's something wrong. People, you have to stop going to the wrongness of things and just stop the insanity of having to always make everything wrong. You know, the question I would ask is what's, what's right about this? You know, this is just a, a change up. So what's right about the change up? But more, more importantly, the, you know, really the point I want to make with this is that it's not about finding the one because you are the one. Really what it's about is magnetizing that person or opportunity or business deal or staff or growth or wealth to you because you're being the energy of that thing or experience or love or person or vibrancy and vitality you're being that and because you're being that it comes to you you know wherever we put our focus is what we actually experience and what we actually live in this world so we're at Actually, we're past the tipping point. We are past the tipping point of lazy thinking. You know, you just can't be a lazy thinker anymore and expect to be able to think about whatever you want, lament whatever you want, gossip and say mean things about people, put people down, judge others, judge yourself, um, go into fear and doubt. You just can't run that anymore without showing up in your life and having to deal with it. You know, it always works this way. This is nothing new. This is just the um, quantum physics, basically. It always has shown up. But the thing is, is that we've had this program that when it shows up, we could run this victim strategy and we could blame something outside of ourselves and we could say, you know, it was the government or it was the economy or it was our boss or our spouse or our children or the traffic or whatever and not really have to be responsible or accountable to what we have, the seeds we had previously planted. So, now it's really glaringly obvious. Now it's just like really in our face and the consciousness of humanity has become quicker and the consciousness of the universe, the planet, the makeup of the world has evolved and so it just shows up really clear. Now, if you're willing to look at what's showing up in your life, then you can basically be, do, or have anything. Because if you don't like what's showing up and you're willing to look at, you know, the thoughts back there that you were rolling and the emotions that you were running and you can say, hey, I created this. If you're willing to do that, then you can create anything. You know, in my last video, I was talking about generating. 
where you generate something from nothing. You really literally create the energy of an outcome, an experience, a vibe. You create it energetically and then it starts to take shape and it takes form and, and you give it more energy and you give it more attention and then you focus on it more and then pretty soon you're making notes and you're writing it down and you're drawing it out and all of a sudden it's like this thing in your life that takes on energy of its own and now it turns into this multi-million dollar business and entirely transforms your life and you think it's about luck or you think it's about timing or you think it's about God or whatever you think it's about other than, than, than you, you know, going, hey, I did that. I created that. So instead of searching out there for whatever it is that you think you want, the one, the partner, <laughs> the business, the money, the car, go in here and really get real and ask yourself, is this really, this vibe that I'm in right now, is this what I want to have my future look like? Because if it is, great. Stay there, build that, focus on that, expand that. But if it's not, pivot. Pivot right there and just go, you know what? I'm creating something that I want to experience instead of rehashing some kind of an old program that was taught to me by people that were unconscious of what they were even teaching to me because it was taught to them and that was taught to them and them and them and them and to the point where you don't know why you're cutting the ends off the, the roast you're just doing it and it's ridiculous to live your life like that don't you think don't you think that in this lifetime you could completely max out all of your talent and all of your gifts and just take it to beyond anything you've ever experienced before and just become this master contributor to the expansion and the greatness of you. Because in doing that, then you become the master creator and contributor of the greatness of humanity and watch that roll out because it becomes exponential. You can't even measure that. That is like 10 to the 10th to the 10th to the 10th power to the 10th power, you know? It's like this constant continuum that just keeps going. So remember, you're not looking for the one. You are the one and you're magnetizing to you the one of whatever, the one of whatever it is that you would like to experience. And you can do that every moment of every day for the rest of your life. And you can literally, literally live happily ever after. And whatever nonsense is going on in the world, you just raise your vibration so high above that fray that it's like, what nonsense? I don't even know about that stuff. So this is Deborah Peters and I am wishing you one of the most blessed, incredible, loving, generous, expansive, sexy, juicy, delicious life that you could ever possibly run through that fantastic imagination of yours. And I will see you real soon. Take care. Oh, hit the subscribe button and the bell, okay? And share this with your friends. Let's bake this party bigger. Let's get these subscriptions blowing up and really make an impact in the minds and the hearts of humanity. Love you.